Hi, this is a video to briefly describe a few of the advantages of Mendel over Darwin. I obviously learned a lot in the mechanical design of Darwin and I've tried to incorporate um, everything that I've learned into Mendel. Obviously the biggest change is the orientation of the axes and there were a couple of reasons for, for doing this. The big change is that the wire is now on the bottom, it's in the form of a rolling bed and well, one of the big advantages of that is now that we don't have the X and the Y sat on the top of the structure. That was very top heavy and it, you know, you needed a lot of uh, mechanical structure to keep it stable. By moving it down, um, it's not top heavy anymore and we can control the weight at the bottom a lot easier. But the big reason was now that the bed rolls, um, instead of moving up and down, the Z axis isn't over constrained anymore. In Darwin we have four points four lead screws which are driving it up and down and that caused a lot of jams but now we only have two lead screws one here and one here and coupled with the bearing constraints that means that we don't have any jams whatsoever um, <coughs> this design now caters for roller bearings sorry ball bearings um, which is fantastic uh, it's something that I've finally conceded to accepting as a vitamin part and now um, the axes move and are powered only using NEMA 14 motors instead of NEMA 23s, which is approximately eight times less torque, which is fantastic. It makes our machine a lot more efficient. Another feature of Mendel is that at some point we'd like to get tool changing into the builds so that you guys can experiment as much as possible with different materials. The, uh, the tool changing gantry is up here, it's these two studding bars which are just waiting for some mechanical parts to go on to enable that tool change to happen. Uh, there's a couple of advantages of, of the gantry being up here. Firstly this is dead space, so um, good place for the tools, but critically by having it up here we can take advantage of this lead screw here so we get a lot of mechanical advantage if we need it to actually do the tool change. What else have we got to talk about? Um, the motor drives are um, a bit more stable. As you can see here, we've got a motor which <coughs> for the Y which <coughs> powers the axis directly. We don't have that annoying drive bar anymore, um, which caused problems specifically in the coupling and the gears. Um, and because this is now rolling beds, we only need one drive point of attachment. Um, and final note is the assembly. Apologies. Uh, Darwin wasn't the easiest thing to put together, um, largely because it had a lot of trap nuts in its components. Uh, I've realised that since that the best way to achieve a good mechanical structure is just with studying alone, um, and as Zach actually put it, uh, using the kebab effect, so we have a nut on each side of the component, is a much easier way of assembling everything together. And. The other thing is the, uh, the amount of bolts or bolt types that we've used. Um, I've tried to make only uh, three. I've tried to make the whole assembly out of only three types of bolt: two M4s and one M3. Uh, 